Alright, hey guys, this is Igor. I'm back with a quick overview of Procreate 3.0, the latest update, which added some like over 100 features, and we're going to take a quick look at them, how to use them, and we're also going to take a, a look at their early um, perspective guidance tool. So let's jump right in, shall we? Alright. So I'm going to load a piece that I'm currently working on, and this is a Fallout inspired fan art um, so not really done yet but as you can see it's it's turning out okay so some of the new features as you can see on the side we have this new toolbar if I press on it and hold it I can adjust it move um, move it up and down and uh, again if you're a left-handed or right-handed artist you can choose the differences uh, right here by enabling right hand or left-handed interface that hasn't changed um, as far as when you we're gonna get back to the perspective guide uh, thing in just a bit but um, another thing you might notice is now you've got a lot more brushes and uh, I have these imported brushes that I got from um, Nikolai this one artist uh, Nico and uh, they added those brushes that I downloaded from him uh, into the official Procreate so that's a really versatile brush and a pretty good one to use um, so one of their new new features is the quick straight lines and this is going to go really well with the new perspective um, early access features so let me show you how to do that um, imagine you have like um, a destroyed sign or something that you want to add into the scene and you know obviously it's going to be really hard to um, to draw without to draw a straight line without a stylus right so let's say that's you know as straight as I can get it even after 10 or 15 attempts so what you can do is you draw a line you hold it for a little bit and you see after I held it now it became a straight a perfectly straight line that I can position exactly how I want by dragging my finger over it and then when I let go it becomes a stroke so it's a great great tool for um, you know getting those right edges and being able to put in architecture or using straight edges um, just within your drawing if you if that's you know your style or that's what you were looking for earlier let's see if um, I need to cover anything else those are those are probably two of the biggest uh, changes for me another one that they did was they allow canvas size of like a billion now so um, my iPad can't support it because I still have the iPad th third generation or something. But now you can go up to 16,000 resolution. So if that's your your thing, then, uh, you know, obviously uh, you could totally do that. So let's jump into this different painting. This was uh, off of one of the demos from the, the artist that I mentioned earlier. And I drew this kitchen out using perspective guides that I custom built with his uh, technique which uses like importing layers and it was a pain in the butt to do but now instead of doing that we've got this uh, really handy new feature and it's the perspective guide right here you'd have to buy it for two dollars unless you wait for the next major update which it will be implemented in for free so this is kind of like early access uh, pay to win feature so let's edit the perspective guides shall we all right when you hit perspective guides it uh, zooms out and it says tap to create a vanishing point so I'm gonna drop a vanishing point in the approximate uh, at the approximate horizon line that I've already had this at and uh, you can click on the vanishing point and drag it up or down to adjust so we we dropped two vanishing points so far uh, actually one of my vanishing points is right there what am I doing I'm failing that's what I'm doing all right and then the second one is off to the side I'm, I'm looking approximately at uh, at my uh, current uh, what is it um, oh, the, the vanishing points that I already have set up the little grid grid system so let's see here I, I'm trying to I have to zoom out a lot further because I put this other point so far away that uh, 
as you can see I'm still not perfectly lined up but it's not at all a pain it's not a hassle you know to to make this adjustment just because it's, it's just zooming in and zooming out and um, they've also implemented a lot of sensitivity related things you know for stylus and because the iPad Pro is coming out uh, this month and unfortunately I don't have one yet so I can't I can't show you that demo but as you can see the perspective guide is working really well and uh, now I can see all the mistakes I've made previously because mine was kind of a makeshift version uh, but you know overall uh, it really helped me to map out the kitchen without using a photo reference or anything so I think that this new tool is going to be absolutely crazy and I can't wait to use it. Uh, another feature that they did implement that I also can't show you because of my old iPad, which sucks, but um, at least, you know, for the people who are on third gen like I am, um, at least you'll know from this video, uh, motion blur and perspective blur. And those are also from their little tutorial video, really easy to adjust. And uh, it looks like it works similar to, you know, the the Ga Gaussian blur and one more thing that I could show you guys before we wrap this up is the instant replay feature now you don't you no longer have to export the video to take a look at how you got you know your drawing the way it is so you can hit the little toolbar tab and under canvas on the bottom you'll see instant replay and you have to make sure that the video is enabled so while you're drawing the program records your stuff but when you hit that replay you'll see that um... oh, well I don't know why it's not replaying it okay it just crashed well there we go I guess that's that's gonna happen I haven't had it crash this is the first time I've had the uh, since the update that I had the program crash but if I hit instant replay right away uh, maybe I'll wait a little bit it needs to load I'm pretty sure there used to be like this uh, loading sign, like a little little circle that did its thing. Maybe if we go to a different drawing, maybe this one is too complex for it now. So if I hit instant replay here, uh, nothing happens, how awkward. Uh, anyways, <laughs> I guess uh, this is going to be a demonstration of, um, they still have some bugs to work out. Uh, but typically, the video starts playing, and along the top you get a blue bar, which sort of uh, indicates, you know, how far along the video is. Kind of like whenever the program loads, or when you apply a blur or something. It seems like the replays aren't working for any of the, any of the paintings. Yeah, it just, uh, I guess I need to restart my iPad or something. But anyways, thanks for taking a look. I'm gonna be back with more videos. Here I'll I'll show you the you know the little bug flying killing bug I haven't finished it but I'm gonna probably return to it and try to use some of the new tools to help me kind of get this one out there um, but in the meantime you know thanks for thanks for watching thanks for subscribing I can't believe I already hit a, a thousand and I don't really do anything and I don't really try on the videos so hopefully I get a little bit more time and make some better content for you guys so yeah take care